In this video, I want to show you how you can speed optimize your WordPress website or any other website you have without installing a plugin, a speed optimization plugin. And I think um, optimizing the speed of your website is really, really important um, because yeah, when a user wants to click on your website and your website takes um, a lot of time uh, to load and uh, to show the different images and yeah, that's, that's not good. That's not uh, giving good signals to the user and also that's not giving good signals to Google. And yeah, like I said, in this video, uh, I want to show you a step by step how you can um, identify why your website is slow or which element slows down your website. And this is what I want to show you in this video. So hi, welcome to my video. My name is Tim. Um, I'm from Germany. So um, <laughs> yeah, uh, then um, yeah, let's get started. So like I said, I want to show you step by step how you can identify um, what is blocking your website or what makes your website slow. So this is the website, let me um, make it English. So this is a website we developed for a customer. And um, here you can see we have a few big images and here we have an element and we have a quite a few elements on the website. And now I want to show you um, how this works. So of course you have, you could install a speed plugin that will do everything for you. But um, I want to show you some uh, cool uh, tricks and tips or tips and tricks how you can do it manually um, without installing a plugin. So maybe um, for, for, um, for example, you are having an um, Wix or a Squarespace website and you don't have a WordPress website. And of course, with the Wix website or Squarespace or Jimdo or whatever there is, uh, you don't uh, you cannot install a speed plugin. And yeah, um, this is um, yeah really important for you guys who have a Wix website or Squarespace website. So if you're having a WordPress website, it's a little bit easier, but um, yeah, enough talking. <laughs> let me show you real quick. So let me copy the address of the website and then we are using the tool GT metrics. So this is um, a really, really great tool to identify um, or to, yeah, to identify the objects, uh, what, take so long on your website or what is the most rendering blocking elements on your website and yeah you have to make an account here um you have to sign your or your, yeah you have to sign up but you can use the free plan so uh, they also offer pro plans paid plans but we are using the free plan and i think the free plan is more than enough and then when you are at the back end here, you can see the, the window analyze performance off. And then here we paste in our website. So this is a German website um, from a customer from one of our clients. And then I will click on analyze. Yeah, and now um, the tool will analyze uh, the website, uh, what's going on on the website. The tool sees all the code or the elements or the, the images of uh, your website. And uh, yeah, it takes a few seconds or a few minutes. And when this uh, process is finished, then I am back. So, okay, now we are back. Um, now we have our um, report and here you can see, um, yeah, the report is, uh, and we get an overall score of a C. Um, that's not too bad, but that's also not uh, too good. So here we can see the, por the performance is um, 72% and the um, complete loading time of the website. So that means when uh, somebody visits our website or this website, then it takes uh, 2.6 seconds until the website is completely ready and all elements um, are completely loaded. And yeah, that's not too bad, but also that's not um, too good. So now um, we can see here uh, the speed uh, visual visualization. Oh, it's a hard word. <laughs> so here you can see um, the milliseconds and here you can see the time to first byte. So time to first byte means um, that after 1.7 seconds, um, element starts to appearing on our website and the time to first byte is really important that we have um, a time to first byte at um, here at for example uh, 0 0.4 seconds so the time to first byte we have to optimize and then you here you can see 
that at uh, 2.1 seconds the first images and first objects are um, appearing on our website and then um, yeah after uh, I think 2.5 seconds or, or 2.4 or something like this then the user can start using the website and yeah that's not um, that great so we can definitely optimize it and you can see on this website especially we have um, yeah really large images on the website we have um, 3d elements on the website and also yeah further down here we have even more uh, objects or images um, placed on the website so this is um, yeah the website is not uh, too bad but it's because of um, all the images so uh, yeah this is a website that lives from the images and that shows the potential customers of our client um, what they will get when they book this, their services and this is why we have to include so much images of course if you um, yeah, if you have the chance to um, not implement so much images and objects, then yeah, it's great. So and let's uh, move on here. <laughs> and here you can see um, all the issues on our website. So this tool will um, uh, will show us all the issues we can we can fix. So the highest issue we have is reduce initial server response time. And this is, I think, or yeah i'm pretty sure that this is plugin related so we have an issue with a plugin here so this website yeah uses uh, quite a few plugins and i think we also have included some social media plugins and yeah this is uh, the time to first buy it and this is definitely um, plugin related so we have to test the plugin so we have to um uh, deactivate uh, WordPress plugins um, the first WordPress plugin we have to deactivate or uh, or we have to deactivate the first five for example and then we run the test again and if we see that the time to first byte is uh, much better then we can see that one of these um, five deactivated plugins um, causes the issues and then we will activate um, yeah plugin by plugin again and we uh, run the test again until we see which plugin um, is causing this issue if you know what i mean <laughs> and yeah what i want to say to you here is that this is a plugin related the time to first buy it so um yeah we have to play around with with the plugins and the next issue is you can fix um height of image element here you can see yeah this is an image um oh yeah here you can see this is the logo of our website so we have a problem with the logo so then yeah we have i think the logo is too big the original size of the logo is really really huge <laughs> and so yeah we um, create the plugins in photoshop we make a, a large um, image file and then um, yeah we we um, save it as a png for example and then we um, implement it in the website so we have to take a look or if you see the um, same issue on your website if you test it then make sure that your website uh, your website your images are small in size and um, yeah make it small in size and um, not so big so this is um, uh, our issue here with with the logo so we have to fix the logo this is uh, yeah, done in um, five minutes then let's see the next um surf static assets with an effective cache policy let's take a look here um, oh, here you can see um yeah here you can see the first is um a banner image let me click on it oh okay this image you can see the file size of this image this image is really huge so we have to um, make the image smaller um, yeah and then um, re-upload it so and yeah here the next is all image related here you can see the file size of the images and if you um, yeah make all the images smaller then it's uh, then the loading speed is much better uh, use and here are some tips 
use a content delivery network, a CDN. Yeah, of course you can use a CDN if you connect your this website or your website with uh, Cloudflare or something like this. Cloudflare offers free free accounts and um, yeah, then then the loading speed is much better. But yeah, at the end of the day, you have to fix all um, all the stuff, all the images. Most most of the speed related issues are from images because when you implement images, then and you will always have uh, uh, issues with the image size, with, with the image quality. And also here you can see uh, the page details. You can see the fully load speed of our website is 3.4. And here you can see the images are uh, almost one megabyte. And yeah, the, all the images, uh, one megabyte is, yeah, it's um, not that big, but it's too big. <laughs> and then we have some JavaScript files, uh, 269 kilobytes this is okay then the fonts and um, css styling and what that html and yeah so uh, at the end of the day we have to fix our our image sizes here and if you run um, the test for your website and then uh, yeah please optimize everything test it again make the images smaller and um, yeah then you don't need um, to have a fancy caching plugin you can do it all by your own by fixing these issues and if you install a caching plugin for example or you buy a caching plugin then yeah the, the caching plugin would do everything for you but um, yeah this costs money and if you want to save a little bit then do it the manual way uh, put in your website and uh, check what's wrong with your website and here you have even more informations of your website um, what's wrong with the website for your first content paint 2.2 speed index and all the good stuff the structure of your website you can see the structure of your website what's okay what's in the green with your website and what's wrong with your website it's the same um, you can see a waterfall metrics uh, what's wrong with your website or why when you hover over this, for example, um, this color is related with um, what this? Um, yeah, this is something plugin related. So we have a plugin issue here. Mm, we have to fix this, and yeah, then then all the images. And yeah, I think that's it for, for this video. Now you know exactly what to do to optimize your website uh, or your sp the speed of your website. You can do it um, with a WordPress website, with a Wix website, Squarespace, or whatever uh, CMS system you are using. And yeah, I hope you found this video a little bit informative. I hope you can uh, could learn something from the video. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments down below. Also, if you need help with your website, you find Find all the links in the video description um, and yeah that's it for the video and please if you learned something from the video press the thumbs up button and subscribe to the YouTube channel and thank you very much for your time thank you for watching see you in the next video bye